but basically the uh, Fluence, right? I'm trying to get the battery out. It needs a special tool, right? Because these nuts. Let's turn that out. Out, turn it on now. Basically, this is a. It's like an internal excited. I've got one here, have I? So, do you want me to demonstrate how to do it without the special tool? But you need a welder. And the way you do it. I don't know where it is, but uh, basically, you take a, <coughs> a large nut, this one's a 20mm nut, and weld it onto it, right, and then you can turn the nut, and there it is, it doesn't really matter how ugly it is, because this is a sacrificial thing, for me it is anyway, I'm not going to use this again. Right, so you can see how I welded it on there. It's not particularly pretty, it's not even particularly good. As long as it grips it enough to turn it, you don't care. And this one as well. These are actually out, as you can see. Right, it's a bit hot that one. I can't find the one that I just had. Oh well. And you can see how, yeah, basically, you can get, like I say, I did it with there. You see, there you go. All I've done is really disgustingly, because it's a, an overhead weld basically, into a confined space on something like that. But it's stuck to it, and that's enough. And then you get it off with a, uh, where do I put it, there you go. So I've got a, a 30 mil socket, because it's a 20 mil, and across that it's 30, and you basically just get it off with that. And that's it. So obviously you're not gonna use these again, or you can do, you could you could basically take that off with a, a, a cutting head, um, cutting disc <coughs> to give you back the original it's a bit burnt of course but it still work yeah and uh, you could probably fashion that on properly so you could actually make it a remove because you can put this back on it'll still come on do you know what I mean it's not like it's completely destroyed it isn't it still works you see it's just king ugly <laughs> but that's how you do it basically just get in there uh, with a, because these are these are thick metal, so you've got to have a you're going to be on pretty high. I think I've got mine on about 100 amps, something like that. Yeah, and uh, make sure your wires fast as well. Get the blooming thing in there, because you're going to spit everywhere. You know, or you could just turn the car over its back and do it straight down, but <laughs> somehow there you go. See, and it, it's it's at an angle and it, it wobbles as you try and take it off, but it's there, all right. You know what I mean? got one left to do. There we go. Get that one done. And then this battery will be out. I do want it, eh? Where is the other one? I had the other one somewhere. I chucked it on the floor or something. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, there it is, see? That was the first one I did. That's it's reasonably well lined up, that. Yeah. <clears throat> because I was a bit insecure, you can see I put loads and loads of weld on it. You basically sort of spot... It's kind of more spot welding than anything else. Right. You know, and that's actually not that bad lined up. Yeah. Just hold it in place, do a tack, and then just fill the rest. You know, as long as your welder's up for it and you don't you can you can do your overhead welding and you you got your welder set up, it'll stick to it. It doesn't really matter. I mean obviously see this one is run down there and stuff. Just make sure you've got enough to get an edge on. Yeah. Hey? Put that one back on there. That's where it came from. This bone adjusts, that's quite nice actually. Yeah, so. There we go. I'll just put it back in place so that in the event that the uh, it comes out, if the back, because I'm on a fourth one like, there's two extra bolts here which I think are still holding it. Yeah. Uh, I can't see anything else. So I've just got to get this one off and then undo those two and the battery should come away. Hey, hey. No, no, that's it.